Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll try to look at a uh, uh, vector exam question. So there are very few things that we need to put into consideration. One of the things we need to check, where is the arrow pointing? Okay, and also the ratio is very important. The other thing is which letter is starting and which letter is uh, ending. So in this case, P is starting and Q is ending. And also, uh, when it comes to ratios, if you can see I've written some numbers here, I'll tell you the reason why I wrote these numbers. And um, the other thing is uh, to be taking the statement, to be putting uh, in your mind the statements, whichever statement you've been given. For example, this statement here, it's very important if you want to answer uh, this question here, down here, it's very important for you to show the justice statement. All right, so we can now answer this question. So the first question they are saying we express in terms of uh, Q, I mean P and Q, P and OQ, uh, vector PQ over here. So what happens here is that you check the vector they're asking you to find, which is P, Q here. So that vector they're asking you to find, you check which other way can you move. If you're standing here on P, you can move to Q like this. But if you don't want to use this route, which other route can you use? You can move like this, P, O, 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 Q. Or if you don't want, you can move P, C, uh, C, Q. So these are the ways, two ways you can use for you to move. But uh, the, the issue here is that, uh, is that uh, we can't use P, C, C, Q because we have no values here. So what we do, we use P, O, O, Q. So we say vector uh, A, which is vector P, Q, will be equal to P, O, plus O, Q. So, P, O, plus O, Q. Remember what I said about the direction, the arrows, they are very important. So, now here, this arrow is showing us that this vector is O, P, but here we want P, O. So what are we going to do? We'll change the sign to show that we are moving in the opposite direction. We are going to put a negative. This is negative, whatever you're able to see here. Plus O, Q. The arrow is pointing this side. It's okay. This is just 4, Q, which is O, Q. So we can now write our work properly, whereby we arrange... We avoid the issue of starting with the negative sign, the number with the negative sign. So I've just swapped. This is six. This is these are just the same. So this is our answer. We go to B. B. They are saying we find P. We find uh, P Q. I mean P X vector B P X. So vector P X is over here. That's uh. This is why I said I'll explain the reason why I've written these numbers, this and this here. Here they have said Px, and this Px over here is being represented by 1, which is Px, I've put a 1. And xq is also being represented by 2, so xq by 2, that's why I've written a 2 here and a 1 here. So now when it comes to vectors, if you want to find this distance, Px, you say one you get this number over the total number of these two i mean the sum of these two which is three when you say one plus two is three of p q of vector p q so of vector p q so the next thing will be one over three of this vector p q which is we found as 
4q minus 2p over here. So hopefully you're able to see. I've just copied this and put uh, 1 over 3. If we wanted to find xq, would have uh, would have said 2. We have got would have gotten 2 over 3 of this pq. So now we are finding this other side of which we've just gotten 1 over 3 because it's being represented by 1. This is being represented by 2. So in this case, we can say we are done with the B. We go to C. I'm going to write my C here, down here. So C, they have said we find OX, vector OX. Vector OX is here. So for OX to be found, we find the way we can move. So how can we move OX? You start with that same letter, which is O, P, plus P, X. So, O, X is equal to O, P, plus P, X. Remember, it's very important to start from uh, the letter or the, the, the letter which is starting. So in this case, it's O which is starting. It's the one which is supposed to start here. You check here. P is starting. It's the one you're supposed to start with P to the direction you want it to go. So what is our what is our OP? Do we have OP? OP is here. It's 2P. 2P. This time around, we're not going to change the sign. It will maintain because this is OP and this is the direction the vector is moving to plus PX. What is Px? Px we just found here is 1 over 3, 4q minus 2p. 1 over 3 multiplied by 4q minus 2p. So, if you can see here, it's not finished. We can clean it up. We clean it up. Just use our algebra. Algebra, we solve this so that these with uh, P's can be together. So, say P, uh, 2P minus 2P over 3 plus 4Q over 3. So, if you see here, we can find the common denominator, which is 3, because these, they have uh, um, like terms they are like terms they have similar letters so they can be subtracted and added so we we'll say more like there's one one into three three multiplied by two p is two uh, six p minus here is two p plus four q we want to clean it up over three the next thing here will be two solve here where we we'll remain with the 4p over 3 plus 4q over 3 it's fine even if you leave it like this it's fine so we have found this is our o x we found our o x so the next thing here they've said show give it a show that this is like this given that o c where is o c o c o, o c is it H multiplied by what we've just found here. H multiplied by this. So first, we're going to say, we'll come this side and say, O, C is a H multiplied by O, X. This is what the statement is saying. Remember, I said it's very important to follow the statements. Let me cut here so that we're able to see our works. This is our, our two, two here. So now we say CQ is equal to, this CQ is equal to, CQ is equal to, which other way can we move? So this is CQ. We start from C is equal to CO, CO plus OQ, OQ over here so once we do this we can plug in our values 
we have been told that CO, we have been told that OC is H multiplied by uh, X, OX vector, o, H multiplied by vector OX. So meaning we're going to say a, H multiplied by vector OX. Do we have vector OX? Yes, we have. This is the vector OX we found. So we are going to put here like this plus do we have o q o q we have is four four q okay so now uh here if you are able to see nice the statement says o c but here we have c o we have c o here we want it to be C O. How can we change this? So if letters change, whenever letters change, you change the sign, meaning you're going to put a negative here. So it will look like this: negative H multiplied by four P over three plus four Q over three close plus four Q. So now here we can do now our mathematics to show. So we need to solve so that it looks like this. Let us move this stuff so that we can be seeing how we are moving. We are moving closer to what we want. So we are here. So now at uh, this time, at this point, we can now start thinking. We think the way we move so that this this stuff here. We make it look like this. This stuff here, we make it look like this. We can play with it nicely and make it look like this. So what can we do here? The first thing will be to multiply throughout by H. So it will be negative 4PH over 3 minus 4QH over 3 plus 4Q. Now, the next thing here will be to group the right terms. So, 4Q, this one, minus 4PH over 3 minus 4QH over 3, this. So, I've just rearranged here. So, the next thing here will be to factor out. If you can see, 4 is out here. So, we we'll factor out 4. So, we we'll factor out 4, we we'll remain with Q and... Uh, P H here over 3 minus 4 Q H over 3. So if you can see this and this, they are almost the same. The next thing here, almost there, we factor out. Uh, sorry, we missed here. This P was supposed to come here. This P. This Q was supposed to move with this Q. So meaning here it's Q. It's this one. And this is the one which is here. This stuff here is here. This is here. Such that here we remain with Q here. Okay, and this is P. So now if you can see nicely, this is the same as this. Next, we factor out Q whereby we remain with one here. Here we remain with H over three Q come out like this here. And uh, we have uh, four H over three and P down here. So now, like this, we are done. This is how you do this question. Thank you very much.